Good day, morning, and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Market Beast Edition. It is your fellow compadre speaking. Today, we'll be exploring the GVO Inc. Uh, symbol, G E V O, for those of you listening in. Uh, pretty interesting stop we've been following. I want to show you all an ascending line and a few levels that I've been following. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we have. Lawyer subscribers, welcome in. Uh, welcome back. If you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button if any of the information that we go over is of useful, uh, you know, information for you. So, let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here shall we all right so today's march the 9th 2021 and the current price of gbo is going to be eight dollars and four cents it's up approximately 10.2 percent for the day all right here we are ladies and gentlemen here's the lines that's it really simple uh so these are the daily candles let's crank it up a bit to the uh maybe the three-day candles uh, actually, the weekly candles, well, they, we're going to three-day close. So we'll stop back in on the three-day, and we'll start. We'll look at the weekly here. So here's what I've been following, uh, the range. Uh, for those of you who watched our previous video, uh, the, the level was – the level to – to understand whether or not GVO needed to stay above in order to reach, I think it was $24 level that we had, uh, was $11.61, $11.63. If it were to stay above that level, it would have had a beautiful opportunity to continue to thrust and ease to the upside. But obviously, in uh, hindsight here, the, the market has decided to correct below that green line. And of course, you see just below that green line, it went down to this ascending yellow line. This ascending yellow line is actually new, okay? Um, it acted as support, which it appears that it has been compromised. Well, I mean, it's official, right? It has officially been compromised to the downside. The only trick is, will the market actually come back up to this yellow line and find resistance, which is currently at $8.88? Is that going to happen, right? Or is the market going to get back above that level uh, within the next, uh, let's call it three days up, three market days up to, uh, let's just give it maybe seven to ten, just two market weeks. So ten market days, uh, because what happens is I, I think we explain this a lot, guys, my, my technical, my new technical guys. I guess let me just kind of back out so you guys can see everything. So below the red line, the red line is currently at four dollars and ninety cents. Uh, in terms of what I understand, the market is in a very large range. But when you get a nice consolidation below that red line, I mean, whether it's a cupperture formation or not, uh, one way or the other, consolidating is going on below a specific level. If the price activity or the sellers cannot get back below this red line right here, again, at about $4.80, then yeah, all of this will be locked off for the buyers uh, considered as all this. Let me just go ahead and put a rectangular area. Like all of this will be locked off for the buyers to protect this area and potentially even uh, pick up more shares if it comes down to that level and just simply propel the price to the upside because it appears that there has been a sufficient amount of consolidation below this uh, red line here at again four dollars and eighty cents. So let me just go and do a really quick measurement. I don't think we did this on the last video. We're going to measure from uh, June twenty fifth, two thousand and eighteen, and we're going to crank it all the way over to the potential official breakout here at uh, January the eleventh, two thousand. And 21. So it's going to do a really quick measurement of how much time it's spent. And of course, you know, we look for a sufficient amount of time in order to legitimize, if that's the word to use, the consolidating consolidative range. Okay, so we're looking at 931 days. All right, I just measured it out there. I think that's a reasonable amount of time. It's not guaranteed that it'll never get back below this level here at about 480. I know bulls. I'm just giving you the uh, you know, the practical area that I can understand. OK, uh, but just be open to that. Right. I mean, maybe it'll just present a better buying opportunity for you to accumulate. If you're long term investing, this video isn't really for you. This is just my swing players. Right. I mean, the, the video is for you as well. It just kind of gives you practical levels to understand what's going on in the market. You know what I mean? To say that to kind of be like, you know, click off the video. We love to have you here. Um, but here's where we are in the market right now. OK, it's below this yellow ascending line here. Um, it appears that it's losing the financial support that it acted as support here. These two touch points, if you see December the 14th, 2020 at about a dollar 80. And then again here at uh, what is this? Uh, January the 9th, January the 11th, 2021 at about four dollars and uh, 40 cents right there. So that's what I'm seeing. I mean, I can't make this up. You can see the weekly candle has closed below. So again, let's give it 10 market days. Uh, the buyers need to really step in and push this price back above the yellow line. Again, the minimum. I'd like to see it really get a nice green candle above. Let's just say $10.29. So if you see it, uh, the market is above $10.29 before March the 15th, 2021. It's likely that the buyers are relentless and they're like, they're not ready to lose this financial support line. So basically to the end of this week, so 
March the 12th, 2021. If you see a close on this weekly candle up to and possibly through the uh, $10.40 level, then it's likely that, again, the buyers are they're not they're not ready to let go of this financial support line. Uh, just yet okay because this will be considered a fake out okay it breaks down below that yellow line and then the buyers are like no 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 no. We, we we're not ready to lose this line and they just kind of get back above it and continue the trajectory to the upside um, i can't really say it's trending up right it's just kind of blasting out of a consolidate range uh, speculatively uh, breaking out of a consolidation range as long as it stays above four dollars and eighty cents okay so that's what I'm seeing but if it is officially getting uh, broken down below this uh, yellow ascending uh, financial support line then expect to see it within a very large range again if it cannot get back above at least a minimum I prefer to see 1020 yes but if it cannot like if you see the price at like eight dollars and 88 cents I think we already explained this then it's likely just trying to find resistance at the previous level of support really simple okay eight dollars and let's just call it nine dollars okay over the course of the next three days so yeah if we lose that line then ladies and gentlemen uh gvo will be stuck within a very large range according to my technical understanding four dollars eighty cents all the way up to eleven dollars sixty five cents um how long would it be stuck within that range again this is pure speculation it's not guaranteed it's actually gonna beat them in that range but I'd have to let the price action to kind of play out. Let's just uh, remind me in the comment section to do an update. Um, I guess the only real time you need an update is probably at least a week or two from this video. So, yeah, I mean, if it's stuck within the range and it's just kind of, you know, floating in the middle. I mean, there's no nothing I can really say other than it's consolidating within a range to make its next move right to the downside or the upside. I know that's not really. I guess the information that you want, like you want me to say, yeah, it's going to blast off to the upside or it's going to go down below. But. I need more price action right now. I need at least another week for me to determine anything. So hopefully this was useful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That's going to end this segment of the GVO uh, stocks. So leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you found any valuable information in the content. Do the best I can, guys. Thank you for your time. Before you go, if you're new, we also cover the alternative markets. I'm not sure if you're into Bitcoin and all coins. We cover that. Subscribe to the bell with us. We'll see you in that information when it's available. I think we cover everything, guys. Uh, hopefully you're doing well. Take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolio. Execute your predetermined strategies that you came up with before you hit that buy button. Okay? We're going to talk very soon. And bye for now.